uh, Gaurav, uh, coming to you. So your uh, platform offers a variety of you know gold investment products. What what has been the you know uh, demand for such products? How has been uh, uh, have you seen it uh, you know increase over the recent months and how has been the past one year experience? Um, so. So we offer, uh, we, we have, I mean, on our platform an investment in buy a gold ETF, a gold mutual fund, or uh, digital gold as well, right? So um, what we have seen is that the demand for gold has gone up. Um, part of it is because when an asset class does well, that itself becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you think about, if we look back and we see when the real demand in gold came, then it came at around may june july period when um, the asset had already done uh, quite well from say september of last year to uh, to about uh, april or may of this year right uh, so the, the 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 gold price increase in itself creates a demand for gold um, i think um, someone had uh, said there was an article on this which, which said that you know maybe gold is a webland good and you know people demand more of it as it becomes pricier but that's true for all asset classes i mean we see that there is some level of price chasing that happens it's happening right now um our our view um and it's in line with you know uh what what firoz also mentioned is that people have to look at the long-term performance of gold you can't be carried away with what happened in the past three months past six months or past nine months um, that's very short term thinking and in, in the short term, actually reversion to mean is more likely to happen. But the larger picture on why we think, you know, gold is good, whether you buy it as a mutual fund or as digital gold, um, is that it's, it's negatively correlated. It, the correlation, not negatively correlated, the correlation with equity portfolios is actually very, very low. I mean, we calculated over the last, uh, I think 20, 25 years, the monthly correlation of Indian equities in gold is like 0.3%. I mean, in, in, in real life, I don't think you will ever get, you know, correlations as low as that. So effectively, what it means is that when your equity portfolio is not doing well, that is when gold does well. So so adding to what Firo said that, you know, over a 20 year period, the annual returns is 12 percent, which itself is a, is a pretty good number for Nifty. That number probably would be 14, 15 percent. But what also is very important is that gold will outperform exactly when your equity portfolio is not performing. And, and, and that kind of gives the balance to your portfolio. But but yeah, we, ha we are seeing increased demand. I think um, the festive season is another big time when people do buy gold. Uh, we've already seen a jump in demand in the first month of October. We expect to see that continue till middle of next month, till Diwali or Dhanteras. Uh, but yeah, that's our take on, you know, what's driving the demand in gold, at least in uh, in the last four or five months. Uh, 